Oh, actually really experienced from the Spacey's matchup, so he's going to know, probably have a good idea of when to go in, when not to. But Zidane, you know, playing a lot with Blade alone, is going to know exactly, not exactly what to do, but you know. Alright, this is going to be a lot of damage right here. Alright, Coconuts. Yep. Right. He's already got him at 95%, but he could definitely hit, yeah, right here he could... Yeah, see, if you're not careful, like, how you move against Boyajolo, he's immediately in there, he'll grab you, he'll jab, down smash you. you. Gotta be really careful against Luigi as Fox. Boyajolo. Man, that was a slippery edge guard. Alright. Zidane's gonna have to sneak in some hits here. Shots. It looks like that's all he's getting really, but then, then again, there's not much you can get against Luigi. Really good crouch cancel there, knowing he was going to go for the down smash. Really easy edge guard for Fox. Yeah, Luigi can't really do much about Shine. Pretty evened up right now, but uh, Glagelo definitely taking center stage. Yeah, see right there, he he waited just for the Shine to come out and jumped out of shield after that. He, Zidane wasn't expecting him to just kind of like keep shielding. This could be good if he just keeps stringing percent there. Yeah, see, a really big part of this matchup is knowing um, when Luigi is going to be able to like nair you out of like a combo or something, being able to bait it out. There we have. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. He still gets out of it alive though, because Shine is a good move. He's working most of his damage in with like Shines and back airs. It looks like just kind of like pressuring him, waiting for him to drop shield. Scene. Zidane definitely making it much more even. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Blade Jello kind of felt, the, felt that he was going to just kind of full hop there. Ooh. Well, it was close. Zidane opting for the back throw instead of up throw, knowing that Luigi can actually just get out of that. It's not really guaranteed. Alright, just kind of jabbing each other here. Alright, Zidane definitely in like a commanding position right now. He's Is that the stock? Or evened up already? Yeah, he pressured him really safe there. He didn't let him have any options. Like... Oh, that forward tilt is so smart. It has a lot of knockback, especially good against space. He's there. He just angled it down a little. Got this. Got the stops. All right, this one blade. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Looks like they're on the Yoshi's. Yeah, okay, so Zidane's looking to just kind of like rush him down here and like not give him any opportunity to get away. Kill him as early as possible. Blade was definitely living to... Not insane percents, but he was... He was definitely controlling it. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with stuff like that. If you're... If you're running in on Luigi, you have to know when that... Like, when there's coming out. Ooh, just a little early on that edge guard. And if he just waited... Try to cover too many options. Alright, there goes the first stock. Blaya charging up that down B just in case he gets knocked off. Oof. You know, he's catching Zidane a lot out of these uh these shines on shield. Like Zidane's not really following them up with anything. Like, I don't know, once once a character like Luigi who's in shield is just gonna like his knows it's coming, they just kinda hold. You, you either have to like shine twice, keep pressuring him, or grab. See, see, if he had just waited right there, he would have been able to get this, like the shine. But instead, he just kind of went really, really, way too fast there. And got up beeps like twice. All right, I got a, I got a match. So. Well, they found someone to go commentate with me. Uh, this is you and me, Jet. How are you guys doing? This match. 
fairly entertaining. Play a jello. Uh, you know, doing his thing. Oh. Uh, the shine. It's an entertaining stock. Mumbo, back on commentary. So what did these guys think of the, the true skill though? Like, Alright, so we got Blayagello versus Zidane. Grand Finals. Blayagello on winner side, up 2-0 in the set. If he can just win this game, it's all over. It's all over. Smash 4 time. What was it? What was going on here? Oh, somebody posting some freaky stuff though. Alright, so we got Shines from Zidane. We got Nairs from Zidane. Okay. Zidane has a tendency to, from what I see, to shout out shield. Yeah, you gotta put it closer, dude. Zidane has a tendency to uh, shine on shield. Which is not a bad option in this game. Because uh, Shine comes out really fast uh, and has basically one frame of end lag. That's it. One frame. Then you jump and you do whatever you want. Which could be another Shine if you'd like. But we have uh, Zidane, uncharacteristically, running away and shooting lasers. Which is what he didn't do in his uh, winner's semis set versus Blaya. Which he also lost. Yeah, look at that. Double lasers. He can do it. He can do it the wrong way, but he can do it. Ooh, that was an excellent wave land back. Still got punished for it though. Build back air. Just hands off. See? That's good. Alright, so we got up throw, down air from Blayagello the Luigi. The up being to the. That was a, an up tilt which sent him up that high. Yep. Couldn't get a follow up, but that was another back air that's not doing. Zidane not abusing shine enough. Uh, if you ever see a fox that's not shining or lasering, he's uh, not playing right. Mumbo quotes, 2015. You heard it here first. Nair? Ooh, that was great. Shine turn around back air. Oh no. Why Zidane? See, Zidane likes to do that. He likes to like uh, keep his opponent guessing as to what he's going to do on the ledge. So he does a lot of like grab ledge, jump off, grab ledge, jump off, maybe like a wave land, hack stash type thing. Sometimes he likes to go off with like shine tricksies and stuff, but it's not just for show. It's to refresh his invincibility and also to uh, keep his opponent guessing. It was, however, unfortunate in, for Zidane that Blea managed to grab the ledge out from under him. Good shines. Luigi actually pretty susceptible to shine because his weight is actually surprisingly more than Mars, which is the cutoff for uh, shine knockdown. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. So uh, you see when uh, Zidane shines Blaya, uh, Blaya stays standing and he isn't hit stun, but he's still standing, so he can't you know tech roll or anything, and he's very vulnerable. Lucky for Blaya, however, is uh, Luigi slides pretty far. Yeah, that up smash was not going to happen with a super floaty Luigi. Ooh, cancels the side B, so he doesn't go so far. Yeah, I think this is pretty ripperonis for uh, Mr. Zidane here. And also, ripperonis for uh, the entirety of Melee at Versus today. Okay, so Smash 4 is over. Uh, Victor, I'm going to switch it over to Smash 4. Or Melee's over, but I need to switch 